Hey everyone, Arnaldo Offerman, Master School Dances. Want to show you another awesome CompuShow tip. One of the crazy things is that some of the tips that I do, you may already know about them, you may not know. As I use this program, I keep discovering more things, and they're usually things that lie right in front of me. One of the things was, for example, you know, when I use a bunch of switches or create a whole bunch of scenes, I wish there was a way you could just right click and make a macro. Yeah, you could do cycles, or you could go to the favorites tab and save it. But I use my favorites tab to save positions versus actual scenes. But what if there was a really easy way to do a macro? Turns out there is. Let's do two different examples. First is a macro within a fixture page. Here we have the Inno Color Beam LED. Let's say that I, you know, have a quick slow song program that I make, right? And I like how pretty it is. You know, uh, notice that it goes on whether the shutter or the dimmer are on. That's because I modify these to automatically turn the dimmer all the way up and the shutter. But let's say I have that, and, you know, it's perfect. It goes just the right phasing, just the right speed. Maybe I want to slow them down a little bit, right? Let's see. Oops, there we go. Sorry. Maybe I want to slow them. Oh, that's way too fast. Maybe I, I, mean, I like them, like, really slow like that. I'm like, oh, that's a perfect slow song. And I could go into Favorite, Save It. Or I can go to New Scene. And you're going to click where it says As You See Now. Make sure both are checked. And click OK. That's it. Now we're going to go ahead and right click on here. And we're just going to rename it. And then Slow Song. And what it does is this doesn't just create, it doesn't create a macro that re-pushes the buttons for you. It creates a whole new scene. That's awesome. But maybe you don't use individual fixture pages. Maybe you use the master page as your primary one like I do. And of course, you know that you can have different layers for your master page. So, I mean, you can do all sorts of great stuff with it. Let's go ahead and open up the 5x5 five five matrix dimmers that I'm working on right now. Okay? And you're going to notice uh, when I click here, it spells my DJ name. Right? DJ Crazy Ace. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and, you know, I have one here. Then I have, um, let's go to make them all blue. But this time, actually, this time we're going to speed them up, right? Ah, a little bit hard because I'm on emulator, for, or parallels, rather. All right, so I have them just going all sorts of crazy. And I want to do that. Just a really cool chase like that. Okay. Of course, we'll make sure the dimmer's all the way up. Again, just different things that I can combine there. Now I go to my master page. Now I'm going to go to my, just so you guys can see here what's going on. I'm going to go to new scene. And we're just going to call it, you know, instead of, instead of right clicking, I just name it right here. And we're going to call it DJCA Blue Scan. And just OK. That's it. Now, when we initialize these, let's say we only use the master page, bam, it pretty much collects all the information that it saw here and transfers it to the master page when you make a scene. So there you go. Super easy tip, and I think that's going to make your programming a lot easier because if you use switches and combinations of layer on top of layer on top of layer, and you create one that's like, oh, man, that's mind-blowing, you can quickly make a scene. Now, of course, when you combine this with, uh, for example, palettes and such, it becomes even more powerful. So hopefully that gives you some basic programming ideas for future shows. Again, Arnaldo Offerman with your latest tip for CompuShow. Thank you so much, and God bless.